Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It's Rose joining you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And today it's Fun Fold Friday, so we're going to, I'm going to share a fun fold with you. This one is a classic one that I love, and I haven't visited this one probably in over a year. So we're going to give this one a go again. It's called the Bay Window. If you've made this card, you know how fun it is. It's a great way to display um, your focal point in, a, in the format of a bay window. It kind of uh, folds out when you display it on a, man a mantle and it's an easy one. You can use it with six by six paper. You can use it with pretty much anything, right? So we're gonna try it today using the Sentimental Park bundle. Hello everyone that's joining. Thank you for letting me know where you're joining me from. Hi. Lynn from Chattanooga. <laughs> I think I said it right. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Hello, Debbie. Hi, Marie. Thank you for being here on this Friday morning. Beautiful, sunny Friday here in Calgary, Alberta. Uh, hello, Alexina. Thank you for joining me. Last night, you guys, I want to share with you, I had my Technique Club Zoom. So I run a technique club. I've been doing one for years and years and years. And I also collaborate with Christine Bertram. And I do this class several times throughout the month for my club members. And I also do it on a YouTube live video. And I did do that one earlier in the month. And you can check that out on my YouTube uh, channel under the live section. Um, but I still like to do my Zoom with my club members so that they can join me live and we can talk and interact and show our cards online are on the screen. So I had that last night. So it was fun to visit with the ladies and uh, see what they were making. And some of them didn't have the stamp set that I was using. We featured a sweet citrus this month in our technique club and you could totally change it, right? So everybody got their card packages, um, all their die cuts, all of that stuff and the DSP and the envelopes, everything to create three of the cards along with me. And, um, it's nice to see the people that change up the carts, right? Change, do Use a different stamp set. If you live in Canada and you want to join the Technique Club, reach out to me. If you live in the U.S. and you want to join the Technique Club, reach out to Christine Bertram. We are collaborating on this um, fun class. Every month you learn a new technique. So you can join at any time. When you join, you're joining for 10 months and you're going to learn 10 new techniques. And then you're also going to get hostess credits, stamp and rewards, um, for your 10 month commitment in that club. So it's amazing, right? It's amazing. Free shopping spree, a free class each month with your minimum purchase. So if you're interested in that, please reach out to me, send me a private message and let me know. Um, and you can also reach out to Christine Bertram by go to her blog cards by Christine, and you can see all her contact information at the top. That's if you're in the U S if you're in Canada, you can reach out to me. If you're in the U S reach out to Christine. Okay. Let's get started. This is a fun card and I can't wait to share it with you. I actually can't wait to make it using other DSP. We're using the Sentimental Park DS or the Regency Park paper today, but I keep looking through the pad of paper and I'm like, I want to make this with another another design. So I'm going to put my coffee down and we're going to get started. Good morning everybody that's popping in. Thank you all for being here. Hi Donna, hi TJ. Good morning, good morning. Hello, Isabella. Hello, Maureen from Oakville. Hello, hello. Hi, Polly. Happy Friday to you too. Hi, Barb Caldwell from Saskatchewan. Hi, Krista from Nova Scotia. It's Friday again. Yes, thank heavens it's back. <laughs> it's been a crazy week, you guys. Oh my goodness. Hi, Diane from Wyoming. Hi, Christine McKay. Hello, Diana from Oregon. Hi, Cindy from Indiana. Hello, Donna. Donna. Hi, Debbie from Chicago. Hi, Katrazina. I think I said that right. <laughs> Hi, Kathy from Minnesota. Hello, hello, everyone. Colleen says, hello from Northeast Idaho. Oh, thank you. Ohio. Sorry, not Ohio. I said that wrong. <laughs> thank you for your kind, kind words. Hello, Lucine from Belgium, Europe. Wow. Thank you for being here with me. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, um, Jenna from Wisconsin. Good morning, Jill from Minnesota. Hi, Leslie from the UK, from Lincolnshire. Wow, so many people from different places. I love it. Hi, Gail. 
Gail, is your last name Stefan or Stefan? <laughs> I guess either way, right? From Merit BC, thank you for being here with me today. All right, let's get going. Hello, Linda Carver, saving to watch later. Ah, in a restaurant eating breakfast. Well, enjoy your breakfast. And yes, the replay is always here. You can always come back and watch it later. And you can pause, fast forward, rewind. <laughs> it's a beauty of the replay, right? Hello, Joy, good morning, good morning. Hi, Barbara Alders. I'm so happy to see you as well. Rainy, stormy in Wisconsin, S or snowy, rainy and snowy. Okay, well, batten down the hatches, stay warm and stamp, right? Always the best thing to do. <laughs> Hi, um, Texas. Hello, hello. Hi, Jen Jen. Thank you so much for your plug about my clubs. They are a lot of fun. I have to agree. I would love to be a member of the club and to get that free hostess shopping spree myself. <laughs> hello, Yvonne. Hi, Bridget. Okay. Hello, Charlene from Newfoundland. Hello, hello. Hello, Millie from Montana. Hello, Kathy. Catching me live. Yes, indeed you are. Hello, Donna. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Anita. Wow. You made the card from yesterday, Maureen says. Awesome. I hope you liked it. I hope it turned out the way you wanted it to. So fun. <laughs> Good morning, Annie from Waterloo. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm going to come back and check your comments later. We're going to get started. Let me flip the camera. And I'm so excited about this Bay Window Fun Fold card. Here we go. Hi, Audrey. Hi, Candace. Here we go flipping and there's my sunny backyard with still some snow all right let's see let's zoom in here and straighten everything up do you want you guys want to see the card first give me a thumbs up if you want to see the card before I start <laughs> I think you guys do like to see it first just to get a visual of what we're going to make today I am going to be making a bay window I see some thumbs up Okay, so bay window, this is gives the focal point and in the form of a bay window. My parents have a bay window in their house. It's the really nice focal point of the front of the house, jets out a little bit, and that's exactly what this card does. Here it is, you guys. Look at this card. So we're going to use this pattern paper today and the dies, the stamps. We're going to use the, um, what's that called? The paper from the suite the distress nope not i gotta get the proper name number three textured textured 12 by 12 shimmer paper we're using the white today and we're going to color it with some blends and it opens like this so you, it opens like this there's the inside and then this piece here is on dimensionals it's popped up and then we're going to just anchor this little band down here like this and then you can see that is how it juts out like a bay window isn't that fun? And then you put your focal point right in the center. So lots and lots of possibilities with this one, you guys. You could do it with any of your paper. It can be for any occasion. I love this one. Okay, here we go. We're going to get started and we're going to get some cardstock and some designer series paper in here. I just want to flip through. This is the paper, the Regency Park paper. You're going to want to definitely grab this. Regency Park, or sorry, Sentimental Park is carrying over into the new catalog, but this paper is not. And look how beautiful all these patterns are. So now I want to make one with the balmy blue and the Knight of Navy. Oh my gosh, so, so beautiful. I also want to make one with, uh, where's that pattern? This one right here. This would be really pretty as well with the Mango Melody, which is going away, you guys. I'm so sad. Mango Melody, you definitely want to get this one in your collection and stock up if you already have it. Stock up on the cardstock, the reinker, all of the things, right? Okay, so we're going to play with this paper today and we're going to pull in one piece. So this is what I also love about this paper. Do you have directions? Um, do I send direction? No, I don't usually. I think it's kind of self-explanatory, I think, when they open it and it's got all these panels. Hopefully they would know to do that, but if not, it's okay. Even if they just stand it up like that, you know, it's still going to stand on its side and it's going to have those score lines for interest, but maybe they will realize that this can tuck in. I mean, you can always type up a, f a little note and put it with like a piece of computer paper or a sticky note and say that you can um, wedge that in so that you can stand it up. All right, let's get started. So we're going to start off with 
thick basic white. We're gonna do the score lines on this. We're using thick basic white and we're going to bring in my simply scored board. We're gonna do all the measurements. Now this is gonna be over on my blog later today, so don't worry, you don't need to write this down. And then you can print that PDF which will have all of the, the not the instructions, the instructions are here in the video, okay? Um, Mary says it's different than other versions you've seen. Okay, excellent. <laughs> different is good, right? Giving you lots of ideas. Um, you can print off the PDF that's going, not going to have instructions. The video is always your instructions, okay? On my PDF tutorial, you're going to get the measurements and the supplies. And I think that's really all you need, right? I am very much a visual person. I love to watch videos to learn how to do something because that's, I don't know. I find that the easiest way. Anybody else like that? Anybody else similar? You like to watch a video on how it's done and then you can recreate it. And the, the beauty of having a video tutorial is that you can pause it too, where you can stop and just follow along at your own pace. Okay, so on the long side, I have it put up against the top here. I'm going to score at three eighths of an inch. So that's one little notch back from the one and a half, the half inch. So three eighths of an inch one and seven eighths of an inch, three and five eighths of an inch, five and one eighth of an inch, and in the middle at five and a half. All right, so there's my score lines on my cardstock. And now we're gonna just move this off to the side. I'm going to bring in my bone folder and we're going to just burnish all of these lines. So we'll do the center line first, right? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm a very much a visual learner. I like to see demonstrations of things. I'm going to reinforce my score lines here. This is really important to do this part. Don't skip on the reinforcing your score lines, especially with a fun fold, right? This is really where it's all at, where the mechanism is to make the fun folds work. Okay, so there we can, you can see we're getting the shape. <gasps> I think I missed one, no I didn't. No. This one goes back, there. <laughs> okay, so we've got our center, pan center panel, our two, two side panels, and then these two little teeny tiny panels. All right, so let's cut our designer series paper now. So this is the pattern I'm using today. It's double-sided, so we're actually using both sides, which I love. I love, love, love that we don't have to decide which which piece, um, which piece, side we are going to feature because we're going to feature both of them. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer. I'm going to cut this at four inches. So cut at the four inch mark. And then we're going to turn this and we need the side panels, those little two tiny little pieces. They are going to be a quarter of an inch uh, each. So I'm just going to pop this in right here and I'm going to cut two of them. So there's one and two. So you need two of those. Oh, did I do quarter of an inch? That looks bigger. That's half inch. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> it's supposed to be quarter, not half. I moved it over. Because it's just, see on my sample, it's just this little tiny piece of designer series paper. But it makes a difference. It's a nice little pop of color. Okay, so we've got those two. Then I need a piece that's one and a half inches. So I'm just going to pop this in. And we're going to do one and a half. This is our center panel. Okay. And then we need two more pieces that measure, um, let's see. Yes, we need one more piece that's one inch. So one inch for the red pattern here. Okay, that's gonna be the little anchor part on the inside of the card. And then we're going to flip it over and you could leave it the same side, but you know what, we're gonna flip it over because we need two pieces of the pink polka dots that are one and a quarter inch each. So let's see if I've got enough DSP here. I think I do, I think I do. One and a quarter. I think this is actually, they're both one and a quarter. That must have been three inches wide. Yes, yes. Okay, so two pieces like this, all right? Now you still have this two inch piece left over, okay? So I started off with a six by six inch piece. Let's see if we can put it back together. It was like this, I think. Yes, all of these pieces here made up the side like this. And then this two inch piece was across here. So this is the six by six pattern back together and we had a little extra piece because I made a boo-boo. 
So you've got lots of uh, wiggle room with your DSP. So one piece, right? One piece of six by six. All right, so now is the fun part. We're gonna glue all these pieces down, all these panels down. So let's open up our card, grab my liquid glue. I'm gonna come down here a little closer. And let's see. I like that it opens, the others didn't open different. Um, just checking your comments, see if you have any questions. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much, Audrey. Yeah, I like to feature the same, the same set just because, you know, it gives you lots of ideas, right? So let's do the center panel first. You know, when you have more ideas with your um, stamps, then you're gonna use them, right? So it's so sad to hear stories of people like, oh, I haven't even put ink on that stamp set yet. I'm like, what? No, 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 you have to use your stamps. <laughs> you have to pull them out and use them, right? So I'm flipping these ones over. These are my petal pink ones that are going on this side here, the side like that. So let's flip those over and put our glue on here. What do you guys have planned for the weekend? Anything fun? Are you going to be stamping? You're going to be doing things around the house? What's up this weekend? What's on the agenda? I am going to be tidying up my craft room and getting organized again because I've had a really, really busy weekend here and getting things planned for the next few weeks. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so these are my two little skinny pieces. I'm gonna flip them over and put glue on them. Just a tiny, tiny line of glue. You don't want very much glue because when you put too much, oh, you guys know what happens, right? It gets all over your fingers. It's, it's kind of messy and a little bit goes a long way. Okay, so this is going right here like that. And this one goes right here. Isn't that fun? I love this. I love, love, love this. I mean, you can change up the background paper. I just went with white, but you could totally do petal pink or you could do um, sweet sorbet, any of the coordinating colors. Now, one little tip I wanna share with you. On the inside, this little um, panel right here, we wanna put glue on that because that's gonna get glued down, kind of like our book binding fold. So that gets glued flat. So let's just fold the card in half and I'm gonna share a little tip with you what I like to do. I keep like paper clips in my desk drawer. So I'm just gonna take my paper clips and I'm going to just secure this down. You can even use um, little binder clips. That's just gonna, they're just gonna hold this together for me so that I can do my other parts of the card. Cause you want that to be anchored down. So that's going to sit like that for a few minutes. So I'm going to show you what I mean. See on my card, this is secure right here. That little teeny tiny quarter inch spine is secure. All right, so let's do some stamping. This is the piece, the anchor piece. So we'll hold on to that. But we're going to do some stamping using the Sentimental Park stamp set. So my, my cards is going to say thinking of, and then there's the word you, right? I love this because you can pair up these stamps and make all kinds of different greetings. It's so fun. So let's go ahead and grab a scrap piece of paper and we're going to stamp thinking of you. So let's see, I need thinking of, and then you, and I need my blocks. Let's grab a block. Let's see, will that fit? Whoa, just, maybe if I turn it corner to corner. And then my U, whoa, not quite. I need a little bit bigger block for my U. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna make, um, use the same colors that are in the designer series paper. We're gonna bring in Sweet Sorbet ink and Petal Pink. And we're just gonna go with these colors because it's all about product coordination, right? Stampin' Up! has that, oh my goodness, down pat. They always give us matching products to use. Okay, so thinking of, and then you. So petal pink for my you. And stamp that right underneath, like that. There we go. I'm gonna move these off to the side for a second. And then I'm gonna bring in from the Petal Park dies, we're gonna use this hexagon and we're gonna put that right over top. Now to make sure that doesn't jiggle on me, I'm gonna just put a little bit of washi tape or you could use post-it note tape, whatever you have to help you to keep it secure or you can just wing it. 
<laughs> depending on how brave you are, you could wing it and hope that your die does not move on you. I'm not going to take a chance today. I'm just going to put a little bit of washi tape, make sure it's lined up, and I'll put a little bit of washi tape right there. I also have a scrap piece of sweet sorbet, and I'm going to cut this one. This is the biggest uh, labeled die. I'm going to pop that on here, and I actually like to do it upside down. So let's bring in my mini machine, my mini boho blue stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm going to put that right here, and we're going to cut this one. Let's see if I can fit both of these. I don't know if I can. We're going to put this one here. Let's see. And... Ooh, it'll work if I trim it. Okay, just gonna trim a little bit off the edge over here and here, and then it will fit. Wow, look at that, just fits. Love it. Okay, so we're gonna put the top plate on and we're going to make sure it doesn't move on me because I've got that down with the cardstock on top. So you can, you can use washi tape for that too if you want to could use a bit of washi tape on the sides, like one right here and one on the other side. I find that you're probably wondering, why are you putting one with the blade up and the other one with the blade down? When you stamp, you need to put the blade down so you can line up your stamped images, right? But when you do the die cutting just by itself, I think it cuts easier. It cuts more, it cuts like butter. <laughs> so we're just gonna give this a nudge and run it through. And there we go. All the cracking sounds are normal. Let's take a look here. Okay, so we've got our label right here. Gently pull that off. There we go. And we've got our die cut. Now, if you think it has not cut through, like I only went forward, I didn't go backwards. I didn't do like, you know, sometimes with detailed dies, you may wanna go forward and backward to make sure it cuts through. I just, I think this one's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna use my take your pick tool and guide these little puppy. My power just went off. Oh, now it's back. That's strange. I hope I didn't lose you guys. I'm not connected to power on my cell phone. Wi-Fi probably. You guys still with me? Give me a thumbs up if you're still with me. Our power just blinked. Oh heavens, you never know what's gonna happen on a Facebook Live, seriously. <laughs> I was thinking, oh no, I'm good because I'm using my cell phone, but I'm also using Wi-Fi. I'm using our family home Wi-Fi. I think we're good. I see thumbs up and hearts. Okay, good, I'll just keep on going here. So I'm poking these out here. You could also use a little die cut brush attachment. Did you guys know that the take your pick tool has a little attachment that you can replace your, let me see, do I have it here in my drawer? So this goes on here. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue on the background back here just to hold it down and it tucks in. I don't know if you guys saw, I think it was on Monday. I was featuring this little Okay. All right. I'm back. I think it says I'm live. Good morning, Denise. I hope you're still with me. Hope you guys are still with me. Oh my goodness. I'm having bad connections here today. The power went out. Oh, I see some thumbs up and let's see. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> I think I'm back. Okay. So there's my, my, uh, designer, not designer, but our label for the front. Love, love, love how it tucks in like that. So pretty. Um, this would make a great scrapbook uh, title. You know, you could use this on your scrapbooking. One other thing I want to use from the Sentimental Park dies. I should bring them in and show you in case this is your first time watching me this week. The Sentimental Park dies look like this, you guys. You get all of the ones you see here on the screen. And you also get these two little dies and they cut out three flowers each so i thought i would embellish my card today using these um, little dies and i'm going to use a little bit of that shimmer paper that 12 by 12 shimmer there's a bit of texture to it can you see there we can see the shimmer and there's like little fine lines in it i'm going to cut out two of these at the same time we're going to get a little accent because sometimes a little bit of specialty paper goes a long way right you don't need like full sheets of it or anything. I'm going to pop these onto my platform and we're going to run, I'm just going to go off to the side over here 
because I keep this mini boss right on the corner of my desk. So I'm just going to cut those out. Here we go. Real quick here. Okay. There. Now let's slide these over and put my dies back. And I need those little tiny flowers. There we go. So we're going to use these as little embellishments on my tag here. So let's go ahead and put some glue down. I'm going to decide where I want to put them first. So I have two big ones and now I've got four little ones. I think I'm only going to use six. We'll use put three on each side. So we're going to put, let's see. Let's turn, no, okay. We're gonna put one here. I put a little bit of glue right, right where I'm putting my flowers. One there, and I'll put one there. Come over here and put one here, here, and up here. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the putty end of my Take Your Pick tool. I'm gonna pick these up and place them. I'll put the big ones in place first, and then I'll put the small ones. I'll have two left over. There we go. No, I won't. I'm using all of them. I can't count this morning. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use all six. Three on each corner, okay? And then we'll put that one right there. Now I was thinking, like, this is a really pretty white uh, paper, but what if we brought in our blends, and I have Petal Pink here. Now I've, I wrap washi tape around the center of my blends when they get fuzzy. So this one I've used quite a bit. I'm gonna take the blend and I'm gonna color the big one, just the big one. I'm just gonna do the big one on both sides. Just to show you like this specialty paper, you can actually color it, it still stays shimmery. So if you buy this paper, you're gonna get the white, let me show you the package here. You're gonna get white, balmy blue, and the shaded spruce. Can you see that? Beautiful, beautiful paper. You get two sheets of each design. So it's the textured 12 by 12 shimmer paper. So I'm just gonna use these, um, I'm, I just put the petal pink blend on there. Okay, so let's bring back my card. We'll take these clips off now. They should be dry. They were holding down the spine of my card. So let's go ahead and let's reinforce that score line back like that, because this is a bay window. So we wanna make sure it's gonna fold like a bay window. Okay, so there we go, we got that. Now this piece is gonna go right in the center like this, and I'm just gonna grab some dimensionals. I'm gonna put the dimensionals, make sure, I'm just gonna put my label here just for reference to see how wide. You don't wanna put dimensionals past your two score lines, otherwise your card won't open up properly. So I'm gonna put mine here and here. So I'm gonna put four dimensionals there. Hold this down, and then we'll get to the inside. Okay, so there we go. We're just going to make sure we center this like that. There we go. So you can see the label is just attached on that front panel. Okay, so now to embellish the front a little bit more, I thought, oh, the flowers need something. So I'm going to bring in my... Uh, I forgot I even had these. These are so beautiful, you guys. These are the 2022-2024 the in color uh, matte dots, and they're so matte decorative dots and they're so nice because they're like an ombre within each, within each color so this is the sweet sorbet up here so I'm just going to go ahead and grab a couple of the small ones and we're just going to put a little one right there and a little one right there see if I can get oh it's stuck on my putty okay there <laughs> there we go so I'm just going to do a couple of small ones there you can put more bling on it if you want to but I just thought that would be pretty. I mean, you could also put um, Lemon Lime Twist if you wanted. That's not Lemon Lime Twist. Parakeet Party. I'm, I'm going to mix those up. <laughs> you watch. Lemon Lime Twist is coming back in case you haven't heard. <laughs> okay, so let's open up our card. And we're going to anchor down this piece here. This is our mechanism that's going to allow this to stand up on a mantle and stay put. So we're going to just flip this over. And you can use as many dimensionals as you want. I'm gonna use three. You could even use your edge of your dimensionals too. If you use up those when you get to the end and you use the edges, you could use 
a long strip, but I think three will be just fine. And then we're gonna put, so I put the dimensionals on the edge so that I will still have that lip for my bay window to tuck into. So I'm just gonna put this right at the edge here, leaving about one eighth of an inch, I guess, around each side. And then this little lip here, you can fold it like that. That's actually gonna tuck in like so. There, there we go. So there's our bay window. And now, so for the inside, you can also cut the same size paper if you want to. If you wanna cut another six by six strip of your paper, you could do that. You could put strips over here. I'm gonna leave mine white over there for now. And maybe I'll come in later and add some, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna do this part for, for now. So we've got a sweet sorbet layer that is four inches by three and three quarters. And I also have a basic white uh, piece that is three and three quarters by three and a half. So that's just gonna layer right on top of here. But before I glue it down, I'm going to do some stamping on here. So from the Sentimental Park stamp set, I'm gonna use this bundle, this um, cluster of flowers. Love, love, love these. And I'm gonna stamp with the same matching colors. So I've got Sweet Sorbet and I've got Petal Pink. So let's do the Sweet Sorbet outlines first. And we're gonna stamp right in the corner here, like that. And then I've got the inside part. This is two-step stamping. Oh, I love two-step stamping. So we're just going to hover over the image below. And then when you're happy with where it is, you can go ahead and stamp down. And then you get those beautiful flowers, the petal pink flowers with the um, sweet sorbet edge on them. So for the inside of my card, it says thinking of you. So there's lots of stuff you can put. You can just leave it and write your note on the inside. Um, I want to do this as a birthday card. So I'm, I'm gonna use the happy birthday and the let's celebrate. So I've got them both on a block together and I'm gonna stamp them once into sweet sorbet. And we're gonna stamp that right in the middle. There we go. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> Okay, let's close these ink pads up and try not to put my hand in them. Okay, so flip this over. We're gonna add our glue to the edges, just a teeny tiny little bit of glue. Can barely even see the amount of glue I'm putting on this. But that's by design. I don't wanna put a lot of white glue. We talked about that at our class last night about the ripples. Nothing any worse than making a beautiful card. And then thinking that you're, you know, doing good by using lots of glue, but then when it dries, you look at your card and you can see the ripples where you went, like where you put a lot of glue. So we don't want that. So just use very, very minimal glue. Now back here, I can put thicker amounts of glue because it's not gonna, it's, we're dealing with double cardstock here, right? So it's, you won't see it. You are not gonna see the rippling through. So let's line that up with the piece of DSP on the side. And there we have it. And it looks like my binding might need a little bit more glue in there. You can also put tear and tape. Tear and tape is super strong. Tear and tape would, would work really well too on that binding. We're just gonna leave mine for now. But here we go. So there's our bay window. So this is what it looks like when the, you open it and you're ready to put it on your mantle. Isn't that fun? It sits like that. Can you see that from the top? <laughs> and then you can feature your focal point you could use a circle, a big circle die. You could use a square. You can use any shape that you have. I really wanted to feature these beautiful, beautiful dies from the Sentimental Park bundle. It's so pretty. And you get, let me bring those back again because they are definitely the star of the show of this bundle. And don't forget, guys, even though this bundle is carrying over into the new catalog in May, you want to get it now because it's 10% off. It's bundled, right? So it's bundled now. Stampin' Up! bundles their product products when they first introduced them. So the first time they were introduced is this mini catalog. And when you get them with the stamp sets right now, you're going to save 10%. So you definitely want to order the bundle. I've linked it at the video in the link at the bottom of this video if you want to click on that and place your order with me. The host code at the top of the screen up here is embedded in that link. So you will have that covered. And when I get your email, then I will know if your email is a minimum $60, I'm going to send you four card packages for my product of the week gift this week of the four cards, four of the cards that I've done this week. Let's do a little recap of this week. It's been a fun week, you guys. On Monday, 
we did this Easter card. I was playing with the Global Design Project Challenge and we did this one for Easter and using the same paper. That was Monday. Tuesday, I had to feature pink and black together, my favorite combo. I did this one. Wednesday, we did this one here with a nice pop of green and featuring that textured paper again. That was Wednesday. Yesterday was Thursday. We did this one. Love, love, love the navy. And the, can you see that shimmer? Oh my gosh. I put Wink Costella on the background, on the flowers. <laughs> you can never have too much shine, right? And then today is Friday and we have Fun Fold Bay Window today. There we go, you guys. So if when you place an order, you're going to get four of these cards in the mail from me, the card kits. You will need to get the dies. You will need to own the dies as well as the stamps because I won't be cutting these die cuts, but I'll be sending you cardstock so that you can cut these dies yourself. The dies that I will be sending you cut out already are going to be the oval for this one, right? The oval background and the oval that's popped up. But all of the other dies are in the Sentimental Suite uh, bundle, Sentimental Park bundle, like this one back here, this one in front. So you'll have the cardstock in your packages to be able to cut that yourself. I will send you the designer series paper, the cardstock, the ribbon, and anything else you need to create these cards. Also, if you want to do the bunny card, you're going to need the bunny stamp set or something else. This can totally be a different focal point, okay? So there we go. I'm just flip you back around here. Sorry about that. I see I'm still alive. I see I still have viewers. So hopefully it wasn't such a rocky um, go for you watching my video today. Had some power interruptions, which interrupted my Wi-Fi. And that's why it was giving me an error message that I was going to lose the connection. <laughs> but hopefully we made it through the end of the video. I hope you liked today's Fun Fold Friday card. And I hope you'll go and print the, the PDF off and have the instructions, the measurements and everything, and you'll be able to make a bunch of these yourself. I'm definitely going to be making more of this one. So thank you all for joining me. I hope you have a great weekend. I can't wait to go back and read your comments. I'm sure I've missed some of them. And if you had questions about anything, and if you're interested in joining my technique club, oh my heavens, next month, let me share the cards with you. Where did I put them? I have them here. Where did I put them? Here they are. You want to see the cards we're going to be doing in Technique Club next month? Just this little sneak peek. They're done. They are designed. And we are focusing on the masking technique in the month of April. So we are going to be featuring Sentimental Park. I want to show you these because when you purchase this bundle, you're going to be ready to join my Technique Club and to be able to do these cards at home. So here's the first card we're going to be doing for Technique Club. Isn't that fun? that we're going to be doing forward and reverse masking. You're going to get all of the stuff you see here. You will need your Sentimental Park stamps and your own ink, but you're going to get all the paper and everything like that. Here's this one using the Sentimental Park dies. And then the third one is the fun fold that we did last week. You remember this one? <laughs> we're going to use the, Senti the Regency Park paper and we're going to make this fun balmy blue and petal pink card here and we're going to use that that ribbon that white frayed ribbon it's going to be a fun class and we do this every single month every month I teach a new technique you also get a technique sheet bind for your binder so if you join my technique club it's a 10 month club and one of the months you are the hostess you will get all the stamp and rewards so it's a free class every month stamp and rewards one of your months and a fun class that you can attend live here in Calgary at Boston Pizza. We do a, a lunchtime class, a supper time class. <laughs> you have those choices. Um, you can attend my YouTube live or you can also attend a Zoom where you get to see everybody in the club in Canada and interact with one another and share your cards. It's always a fun time. So if you're interested in that, let me know and I can add you to my April club. And we will get you started. All right, I will go back and check all the comments and make sure I haven't missed anything. Thank you all for being here. I wish you a wonderful weekend and I'll see you back here on Monday at 930 Mountain Time for another fun card share. Take care everyone and happy stamping. Bye-bye.